This is Black History Month, correct? Shout out, right. Shout out to all my Africans, out the African people, African what, men. So, 1090 Jake. Mm hmm. What are your thoughts on 1090 Jake, Doc? Because he cuts up a lot of. A lot of relationships, a lot of, you know, he brings forth a lot of paperwork that I don't, I'm not going to say it's not true or is true because we don't know, but um, for that, you know, he's not in our culture. Well, not, I take that back. He's not our race of people, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but our people listen to what he's saying about they people. So can you, what's your thoughts on that, man? In my opinion, I feel like this. <laughs> First of all, I'm disappointed in our race. I'm disappointed in our culture, the hip hop community. You know what I'm saying? Here's why. Because this is a repeating cycle, bro. When I mean this repeating cycle, um, what did the government do when the crack area, when the crack area hit, hit the motherfucking scene in the 80s? What they do? They put the motherfucking crack in the neighborhoods, right? They put the, they put the, they put the fucking white people in the neighborhoods to act like they were us the whole time, the motherfucker with the LBIs and shit. It's a repeating cycle, bruh. It's a repeating cycle, man. I'm disappointed in our community. I'm disappointed in hip hop. How the fuck y'all let this motherfucking white man come in this motherfucking tell us about our race? Y'all letting this nigga be a gatekeeper? Okay, cool. He doing his job. You know what I'm saying? He doing his job, but he's also portraying to be a black man. He's taking our culture. Nigga got gold and diamonds in his mouth. Nigga got tats. Nigga around this bitch banking, you hear me? You know what I'm saying? Like, and y'all ain't in there come expose our, our men. You know what I'm saying? Our people in our community. You know what I'm saying? Instead of checking this motherfucker, sending him back to that. Go, go expose the motherfuckers in the rock era. Or the fucking, what it is, the fucking, um, what's that heavy metal era? They do more drugs and do more shit than us. They richer than us. They got more money than us. You know what I'm saying? But it's our black people who come in this bitch and got there and just listen to this nigga. Oh, he, 10 out of day, drop this. Man, that shit true. Duh, he drop it. This nigga's a fucking United States informant. He was put in the, in the hip hop community to destroy the hip hop community to break up black homes. Simple. Simple. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. How the fuck? Y'all ever thought about some shit? A nigga sitting on the internet exposing niggas. Bro, that's cool, bro. That's cool. That's what he supposed to do. That was in, that was, that's what informants do. That's what people who work for the government do, bro. They, they supposed to do that. It's a disguise. You undercover. You supposed to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all making a big deal. Like, anybody go pull a nigga paperwork up. Go look on Pacer, motherfucker. Go look on Pacer. You know what I'm saying? I respect a black man come out telling us black community, hey, this motherfucker a rat or this motherfucker did, then a white man come out telling him. Cause guess what, Eddie? in about 10 more, 20 more years, you gonna see that motherfucker brand, rebrand from being 1099J to a problem with a motherfucking being that on these companies and having some of these motherfucking upcoming rappers on his company, breaking their, getting their motherfucking money and ripping their ass off because y'all let them in the community. That's how I feel about 1099, 1090J, what the fuck is name? You know what I'm saying? Um, Cause cool, I mean, I, don't, I put it like this, cause everybody got a character online. His character online, I don't fuck with it. I can't respect no nigga, I don't fuck with it. I don't fuck with niggas exposing my people. I don't give a fuck, let us do that nigga, that's our job, you stay your ass over there nigga. That's just like me saying, I'm going into the motherfucking Chinese fucking uh, community, telling them such and such about their people, they gonna look at me and kick my ass, right? <laughs> All right then, so why the fuck y'all letting this nigga come in here, it's expose our people, man, get going with that shit, bruh. So I feel like I'm, it's sad, bro. And I feel like we don't got niggas, that, we don't got men that stick up nowadays. We don't got natural leaders that stick up and speak out on that shit because they scared about some shit. I did this and that, man. Drop your fucking nuts. Put this motherfucker in check. And got now send his ass on by this way. You know what I'm saying? Cause I guarantee he can't come to the hood. He can't come to the hood, the real hood. Not none of them big ass cities. No, no offense to none of them big ass cities. I respect all sets and all cities in the hood. But let me tell y'all something. He can't come to none of them country ass towns or none of that talking that shit. He gonna get his ass whacked quick. You know what I'm saying? Right. Niggas ain't going for that shit, nigga. You gonna take your crack ass on, boy. So that's how I feel about that. You know what I'm saying? But get his money. Hey, get his money. But, bro, when it comes to the black community, leave that shit alone, bro. Stay out of our business, bro. We got this, bro. Nigga, you feel me? We been, we been exposing niggas who rats and who tell. We got this, bro. Fuck out of here, but Yeah, that's how I feel about that shit. And niggas who see this interview, like, man. He tripping, I ain't tripping. I'm just speaking facts. The truth hurts. Stop letting this guy come in our community 
and expose our rappers. Let us do that. How do you think that he was able to do that? Since most of the time, some, 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 somebody or some entity privileged. Well, well, we have to have somebody on our side had to have let him in some kind of way. Privilege, exactly. What you mean somebody on our side had to let him in? Some Nigga, the government didn't. Did we let the government in when they got there and raided everybody on the crack houses? Hell no. Nah. Because guess what? The mother, bro, we let it. Us as black people, we let our guards down so much that we fuck around and goddamn forget the code of honor. We forget, right. we forget the, the code of honor. You know, we forget the, the laws of the land. If y'all know what I mean, all the real niggas know what I mean by laws of the land. You know what I'm saying? And then another thing, bro, money talk, bro. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, we paying these motherfuckers all to come in the hoods and shit, so. But 1099 Jake, bro, he on, um, he do his thing about, hey, I don't speak on that, man. He cool. That's my opinion on him. I ain't got no beef with him or nothing. It's just shit. Bro, stop trying to expose our motherfucking people, bro. That ain't your motherfucking job, bro. Just come out. You might as well just come out and say you a fucking informant, bro. Cause that what you look, that what you looking like. I don't give a fuck how much gear you see. That's police shit to me. Is that police shit to you? Yeah, that's of course what it is. But let me ask you this. Um, he can say a million things, but when 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 people believe and listen to him, that's when he has done his job. Yeah, exactly. And so, also paperwork too, right? <laughs> people yeah. be like provide paperwork. Don't y'all know niggas can edit paperwork? This is 2024. Nigga, you can edit anything online. Just like how y'all can go out there and do that other shit when it's time to get these loans and shit. Don't you think you can edit paperwork? Yeah. People need to start using their fucking head. It's a thing called AI now, which I'm going to talk about later. People need to start using their head. If y'all don't go pull that shit out on y'all don't do that. How you going to pull a nigga paperwork, bro? Easy, bro. Go to Pace and go to these secondary bureaus that I've been talking about in these past fucking uh, interviews. Your secondary bureaus, how you pull a lot of people's paperwork. How y'all think these fucking cribs and shit pull your background checks from your secondary bureau? But niggas sitting here listening to this white man say they're going to do your research. Y'all pissing me off on Black History Month. Shit.